I don't know if this is working, but it's obscuring my view. So if I'm doing anything wrong, please forgive me. Please be seated. Please be seated. Um, program director, the lovely lady, Taming Gwen, I've always admired you on TV, so today I got to meet you again. If this is the second time I actually shake your hand. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. I would like to start with the acknowledgements, and I'm not going to call everyone out of respect of the fact that Usi Zanele has already acknowledged everyone, so... Before I say all protocol observed, let me then, program director, allow me to acknowledge in our presence Mayor Zanele Mboga Zingambule, a formidable businesswoman. I, I admire you. I admire your energy. And yes, indeed, one of the speakers said, and I think it was Dr. Lindelani Mkize, that if all women can emulate her, I'm going to alter it a little bit. If all women can emulate her, South Africa will be a better country. You, you said that, yes. Not only that, it will also change the economy of this country. It will also change, and this is definitely going to happen. It's going to change the economy of this province because she ain't going anywhere. She ain't going anywhere. We are keeping her in Gauteng for the next seven years, definitely. So, driven by this formidable woman, Gauteng is going to turn around. The hashtag says, what does it say again? A new season. It is a new season at so many levels. You can't even imagine it. Um, we are going to keep you here. And obviously your, your board, because you yourself said you're not working alone. I also want to acknowledge uh, Ms. Rufiwa Netengwe, I hope I pronounce your name properly from the Crown Executive. Um, SABC Group Executive for Local Content, Ms. Lala Taku, the department, our sister department at National, I think it's represented by Acting DG if she's here, or whoever the representative is. Um, Risa Advocate CBC. Um, when you were speaking earlier on Cisanele, you said, you shared your story with us that the two gentlemen who were smoking cigarettes, I hope they still have their lungs um, and are working properly. No, I have no issue with them. I have an issue with cigarettes. So please don't, don't understand it from that perspective. I hope you have forgiven them because they were just blind. They just didn't see. Somewhere in the Bible it says, let those that cannot hear have their ears opened, those that cannot see have their eyes opened. So it's okay, it's fine. They were just blind, but now I hope they're okay, wherever they are. So it's fine. God blesses us in different ways at different times. I also want to acknowledge the pastor, your, I don't know how to describe your husband. I was looking at the support he gives you. This is a match made in heaven. You guys were supposed to be together. When I first met you, when she introduced me to you, I was looking at her eyes, and whoo, I could see. Um, it's a match made in heaven. You guys were supposed to be together. The love between the two of you is palpable, and I hope it's a blessing to all the couples that are anywhere and they love each other. Dr. Rebecca Malope, I'm such a fan. I confessed when I met you that I so wanted to meet you. So because of Cisanelle, it has happened. I'm human, you know, I'm just human. So I am a fan. I am a fan. Dr. Tumi. Yeah, I'm a smile, so happy. So we might just do something about it. When I step off this, I'm going to, I must hold your hand as well. I'm a fan. I, I, people, I said, I'm human. Please understand from that perspective. I am human. And I want to admire and acknowledge all of the artists that are here with us today, those that will be joining us in, when I will share the date with you, and those, are still, those that are still upcoming. The fact that you have chosen to use your God-given talent to do what you're doing. It's an honor for those of us who cannot sing. 
when Cezanele came to the office, and it, actually the meeting, the way we were supposed, we, we as a department postponed the meeting twice. And then when we did meet with her, we had to have our meeting online. I was shaking like I'm shaking now. And let me tell you the reason why I was shaking. I could not believe, I just could not believe that she is having a proposal for us as the Gauteng and I happen to be a MC responsible for that department. I felt so humble. I went home and I cried. I cried, I thanked God and I asked God for guidance because I could not understand why now when I'm responsible for this department. I take it as an instruction from God and I'm going to be as humble as I can and I hope that It, it could have been anyone. It could have been anyone. But God's decisions are his decisions. God's ways are his ways. They are not our ways. It is very humbling. It is indeed very humbling. So as I give you my message today, I want to also share with you the premier's message. Because the message I'll be sharing with you, it's the provincial message. It's not only from the department. He wanted to be with us here today, but like Motswana Abu Aditiro Hadilatsan, he had to do something else to attend to. I actually want to admire how the gentleman from the SABC did his acknowledgments. That's how acknowledgments are supposed to be done in Africa. We, you say your message, and when you're done, you do your acknowledgments. That's proper protocol, the African way. So, yeah, honestly, so anybody who knows what I'm talking about, remember one of our responsibilities as a department is culture. Ne? So those things we study and we make sure that we understand. So maybe you don't realize what you have done. So let me also acknowledge all of the esteemed guests that we have, the members of the media, our partners who respect you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, while I was sitting there, one of the things that I did was to look at the streaming. You have... There's, I think, about two or three gentlemen from the Bahamas who says, well done. There are many people from the continent. I, 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 I was counting and I stopped. They're also saying, Crown Gospel Awards, well done. So, yeah, that is how big the footprint is. I hope you realize what you're doing. So, good morning to you all. Oh, good afternoon. So, <laughs> it is with great pleasure and excitement that we gather here today to launch the highly anticipated 16th Crown Gospel Awards under the theme, hashtag a new season. This event stands as a testament to the power of gospel music, to uplift spirits, to inspire change, and bring communities together. And I want to add here, to turn the economy of Gauteng, to turn the economy of South Africa, to turn the economy of SADC around. We are delighted that these awards are held for the first time in Gauteng, and I think it's only proper, yeah, we are delighted, but it's only proper that we also celebrate the work that you have been doing with KZN, because they did contribute to your growth. To your growth. So let's acknowledge them as well. And thank you very much for choosing to come and work with us, um, Gauteng. All thanks to to, to the support and leadership of our dear uh, Premier Tate Panyazali Sufi, who has made the call that Gauteng must regain its status as the destination of choice for all major events, be it in sports, the arts, culture, and business. And I'm glad that you spoke about the business behind the gospel awards and the gospel genre, as a musical genre. I, after I spoke to Sis Zanella in that meeting that I went home and cried, after I dried the tears, I had to, you know, realize that, hey, there's work that needs to be done. So obviously we did research and looked at the contribution to the business. I can't share the, the, the numbers now because I want them confirmed. I have that responsibility as, a, as, a, as MEC for the department. So when I quote numbers, I must be accurate. But I can tell you that you have indeed changed the business of this particular genre in music. You have. And, and we must keep growing it. 
the Crown Gospel Awards was established in 2000, 2007, as you have shared with us, and it is a, pre, a prestigious event that recognizes and celebrates excellence in the South African gospel music industry. This annual award ceremony has become a cornerstone of the gospel music calendar, honoring artists, honoring songwriters, honoring producers, and contributors who have made outstanding contributions, contributions rather, to the genre. The awards also provide a platform for emerging artists to gain exposure and recognition, encouraging the growth of the gospel music scene in South Africa. In this sense, the Crown Gospel Awards contribute to the enrichment and development of the gospel music industry by promoting talent and fostering a sense of community. So, the Premier in his state of the province addressed one of the things that he committed this department to was that everything that we do in all of the pillars that I spoke to, sports, um, arts and culture, including business, is that whoever we work to as we form partners, we must ask them that in whatever they do and in having arrived at a certain level of their journey, they must also remember to open doors for others. So I know you're doing it already. I know you're doing it already, but we want working together with you, Crown Gospel, um, to grow it. We will be talking not today. We have to save some of the good news for the day itself. We will be sharing with you the programs that, were that are going to unfold. They've started, actually, but they will continue after the day of the awards themselves. So we will be partnering uh, with Crown Gospel Awards um, in, I think, about five programs, that um, I HOD, five, ne? Yeah, in five areas. And we hope, but we, are going, we, are not, we don't only hope, we are going to make sure that you sign on the dotted line, Mezanel, and you remain in Gauteng for at least seven years so that we may so that we make those programs a reality. So, all the opening acts that will be performing on the day of the awards themselves, we will be making sure that they are signed up with some of the music houses. We will make it our responsibility that we walk that journey with you so that we give all of these young people an opportunity to experience what you are experiencing. Gospel music with its rich melodies and heartfelt lyrics, Dr. Tumiu spoke to that, has the unique ability to touch our souls and transcend boundaries. It is a genre that speaks to the core of our humanity. Again, I want to thank uh, Mayor Zanele by speaking to the fact that the moral regeneration movement must be brought back and there isn't any other platform that can do that with us in Gauteng except what we are launching today. So that in, you know, in an essence, I'm telling you one of the programs, the moral regeneration, and we are going to make sure that we work this, uh, we work this journey with you. It is a general that, um, oh, I, I spoke to that, uh, that is at the core of our humanity, offering messages of hope, messages of faith, and messages of love. As we launch the Crown Gospel Awards, we are not just celebrating music. We are celebrating a, new, a universal language that unites all people. This year's awards promise to be a spectacular showcase of talent, of passion, and dedication. Our gospel artists have poured their hearts and souls into their craft, creating music that resonates with people from all walks of life. These artists are not just performers. They are messengers of positivity, and agents of change. As we embark on this journey towards the Crown Gospel Awards, let us take a moment to reflect on the profound impact that gospel music has had on our lives. It has the power to heal, it has the power to console, it has the power to inspire us to become better versions of ourselves. Through this event, we celebrate the artists who dedicate themselves to creating music that speaks to the depth of our emotions, and the heights of our aspirations. I would like to extend my gratitude to the team that has worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring the Crown Gospel Music um, uh, Media Launch Awards to life. Your dedication and passion are the driving forces behind the remarkable events. Let me share this with you. 
<laughs> but for a good cause. I'm not complaining. I'm just sharing with you. I'm also demonstrating to you their dedication to perfection. So they made sure that they keep advising. And we even had a meeting this morning. It was supposed to be at 6 o'clock. No, I moved it to 9 o'clock because I, make, I wanted to make sure that I will be able to understand what they're saying. That is the level of dedication that this, this team had. They wanted to make sure that this becomes an excellent event. To the media representatives present here today, I encourage you to help us spread the word about the, Cro the Crown Gospel Awards 2023. And like I said, it's going to go beyond this. Seven years in the making. Your support plays a vital role in ensuring that the world recognizes the importance of gospel music and its impact on our lives. So I was asked to share the date with you. It will be on a Sunday and it will be on the 26th of November and it will be... I'm also sharing the venue with you. It will be in Soweto. Okay, I'm not quite sure what the excitement is about, but for me, we appreciate that. But for me, it's a responsibility that the Premier gave to us that everything that is fantastic, anything that is spectacular, anything that is good must find expression in a township so that we also help people like the Ground Cospel Awards um, to unearth talent in our townships. So that's the reason why we are taking it to Soweto. I want to also admire your motto, delivering kingdom projects with excellence. I hope I got it right. This we want to be a part of. This is a motto that will inspire any person who thinks properly in their head. So thank you for sharing the motto with us. We will be part of it. So in conclusion, let us look forward to an unforgettable um, celebration. Let us look forward to unity and let us look forward to inspiration at the Crown Gospel Awards. May the music that will be showcased uplift our spirits and remind us of the power of the human spirit to overcome challenges and spread positivity. Um, Dr. Mkizi, this horse was designed by God. There's no person on this earth that can challenge this horse. Yes, we will write the source. We will work with it. Did you hear? Did you hear? The Crown Gospel Music Awards are moving from the warm Indian Ocean of Durban to the land of gold, Gauteng, for the very first time after 15 years. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's officially hand over the crown to the MSC. Like we do at the crowns, we have our, one of our crown angels who's gonna do exactly that. Here is a crown, all the way from Durban to Gauteng. Officially, stand and take the picture. Ibambe, Ibambe says, "Come, biscuit to your neck." What's a mama? Ibambe. May I please invite our lifetime achievers that are in the house to come and join this moment? Please, our lifetime achievers that are in the house, Ntalabeze. Makaba ningyakbona, wosa. 